Hello everyone. We're making some enchiladas. Ain't no special recipe, tell you that now. I'm just making dinner with y'all. I'm doing a whole bunch of chicken. Uh, I need a spoon rest. There we go. Now I got some butter in my pan. I'm going to get my chicken in here. Okay, you got a few people coming in now. trying to fry this up, so I need to give it a little stir. A lot of chicken in it. Yeah, what I don't use, I'm going to freeze up to make quesadillas with, you know, at another time. So I cook a bunch at one time. Okay, our water's starting to boil. We're gonna get a pack of taco seasoning in there. You tell them what you're making. I am making enchiladas. We don't want to clumps in our taco sauce. So I'll mix it with water first. This is for our rice that we're going to put inside of our enchiladas. We'll let that come back up to a bowl. packs of fajita seasoning. I'm going to get it in these two cups of water over here. Very good. 
I'm going to push that off while I finish getting this mixed up. Where's my whisk? No, Lynn, uh, Haley's waiting on the wallpaper to come in. Should be, her wallpaper should be here one day next week. Wallpaper and curtains. It's painting and the floor is all done. Okay. We're doing instant rice. So let me get a measuring cup. Get our seasoning mixed back in that water again. The goal is to make this dinner easy. I'm pretty sure it's equal parts rice to water. Yes, it is. One. first. We want all of our chicken to get that seasoning all over it. Give our rice a stir. Turn it off. Uh, must be your internet then, Grace, or Facebook. Probably in. I thought that lid looked off the small. Because everything's fine on my end. There it is. I grabbed the wrong lid, y'all. Alright, we're just going to let that hang out and swell up while we finish cooking this down. And I'm just taking my big spoon and breaking that chicken up a little bit more. And I never did turn the heat down on it. But it's all right. We're just getting the seasoning cooked in. Cooked down, cooked in, cooked on it, whatever. Uh, oh, Gina said you have a pretty half, Miss Becky. Thank you. Uh, Linda sent you some stars. Thank you, Miss Linda. Becky said, um, I think I smell it. Y'all look. This one's easy. There's nothing to it. It ain't really a recipe or anything like that. My family loves it. It's an easy dinner for a weekend when you don't want to spend a lot of time cooking. Tomorrow night, I'm going to make a big pot of chili and some cornbread. Tonight, we're having enchiladas. 
And when I cook these, we usually have leftovers and we have them for lunch the next day. The only thing is if you do that, you need extra enchilada sauce because they will start drying out. Robert said, what did you put in the rice water? Okay, to make your uh, Mexican rice for your enchiladas, one pack of taco seasoning into the rice water. I was going to make my own Mexican rice, but you got to use tomato sauce and all the spices. Taco, the taco sauce already has it, the taco packets. So it's, it's really simple to do it that way. Betty said, tomorrow, Betty said tomorrow she's making lasagna soup. You're making lasagna soup tomorrow? No. No. Um, I wanted to make lasagna soup, but I don't know if my family will eat it in soup form. Now, they'll inhale lasagna. I won't. See, there you go. First one that says he wouldn't eat it. You don't like lasagna? I like lasagna, but I've never ate lasagna soup. I'm going to make part. lasagna soup one night and he eat a bologna sandwich. Yeah. I'm also going to make my stuffed cabbage one night this week. He can eat a bologna sandwich. I need some ramen noodles. And I'm yeah. making some Rotel dip. Yeah, Haley's over here making dip. In her dip, she has taco meat. Taco seasoning, taco meat. Um, Velveeta cheese, blocks of cheese. And um, gar a can of Rotel, the Rotel diced tomatoes, and garlic powder and chili powder. So she's over here whipping her up a dip. She doesn't like enchiladas. Can y'all believe that? Let's take a peek at my rice. Betty said that lasagna soup is easy to make. I know you're not supposed to fluff this until it's done, but I find that if I don't, I have some hard rice sometimes on the top, and I don't like that. So we're going to let that hang out a minute. Becky Pierce said I'd weigh 300 pounds if I lived with you. I'm getting there, honey. And Kim Malati says she'll be over in a little bit. All right. Michelle, she made, she's going to make you two and Scott two. I'm going to make y'all your own little pan that you can take home because I know he doesn't want to come over here to sit after being at work. So I'm going to put this rice away. And I'm going to get out my cheeses. Allie can, Allie can move y'all around. Um, where is my, I'm looking for my bowl of cheese. I have a bowl of cheese in here somewhere. Nothing in this refrigerator. Shell said, I'm going to eat there so we can watch Million Pound Sisters. Okay. Y'all going to watch them big gals. What are you looking for? I had a bowl of cheese in here. There's something behind the eggs. I don't know what it is. Something behind these eggs. Another egg. Hey, Lee, have you seen that ball? There it is. It she found it, she found it, she found it. Okay. Y'all, there's so many condiments in my refrigerator. Alright, let me wash my hands again. Y'all look like twins from the back. Alright, y'all, I just had to wash my hands again. What happened to the camera that fall? Everybody kept bitching and complaining about it. <laughs> um, and for some, it did something 
I think it was Facebook that started doing the jumping thing. I don't know. So I'm just... Alan's just going to have to be my cameraman. I'll be the cameraman. I'm cool. Okay, we're going to get... my process done first and I'm going to put a can of this into a uh, into a cup that I can pour where did I put the other one here it is I want to pour this into a cup so I can pour it without making a mess Somebody is going to say I'm not organized. I do not. This is my cooking space. I do not have room on this table to just, lay everything to out. just have everything out here all the time. I'm sorry. If you hate it and I'm walking around my kitchen, get but, over it. But you do it when you're at home. Yes. Every, it's, you're exactly right. Everybody walks around their kitchen getting what they need. It's just life. Okay, I might as well just go ahead and open these too. You just do it your way. This is your show. Ain't that right? You're like Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. <laughs> She didn't claim to be a, well, you know, you said it right there. What? A true make looks good, but a true Mexican would never use canned sauce. She's not a Mexican, no. obviously. No, um, like I said, this is an easy throw-together meal. That's all this is. There's no special recipe or nothing. I said that in the beginning. This ain't authentic Mexican food. But she can tell you're not Hispanic anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's obvious I'm just Becky. I'm just me. I'm just making dinner for my family. I'll tell you this, it ain't authentic Mexican food, but it is good. It, it does what it's supposed to do. It fills the tummy. Okay. We're going to do this like this, because I don't have enough table room for everything. Just like this. Do it like that. Do it like this and do it like that. Now, I would love to know how to do the authentic. Because I do love, um, I would love to learn how to make authentic tamales. They are like my favorite thing. Are the corn tamales? Yes. Um, where I worked before, where I used to work at, there were some Hispanic women who would make tamales and they would sell them right off their front porch. And I used to buy them all the time and they were so delicious. I wish I knew how to make those. Okay, before I get too far, we're going to butter the bottoms of these pans because I don't want them sticking to them. I'm using country crop. It ain't butter, it's country crop. That's butter. That's butter, butter. We just want a layer of this butter in the bottom. It is 
That's what she uses. I'm leaving this spoon in it because I still got to butter the other one. Okay. We put a little sauce inside it because I don't want it to be dry on the inside. No. This is true stuff from Florida, aren't you? I try. So that's kind of sauce she uses. We got to back up. I didn't put no cheese in it. I had to open it back up. Got to have some cheese in it. Yeah, these things are so good. Yes, they are. We use real butter in some things, but we like the country rock. Some things she uses real butter. Grease the bottom of it. I use that margarine. When I make toast, I use that margarine. When I make uh, grilled cheese, he or likes the country girl. Yeah, I like the country girl. Got a little fruit fly. Yeah, a little fruit fly from where we had that banana in here. She's just using uh, rice that she uh, seasoned up with taco sauce. Her chicken she seasoned up with uh, fajita sauce. Fajita sauce, and then she's pouring the enchilada sauce and cheese. Upside down. It's fine. I'm going to go nowhere. I'm just making a bunch tonight because my, my daughter's coming over. She's making our daughter, Michelle, two and her husband, Scott, two of them. Okay, now I'm going to pour this all over and in between. And, and the rest will be uh, Becky, myself, and Daryl's. Want another can in it? No. Oh. We don't want the lid in it. I just poured this in the measuring cup so that I can do this without Still when, mess. well when I do it with the can it's so much worse yeah let me rinse my hand
No, Hunter don't eat food like this. Hunter likes chicken nuggets, pizza, pizza rolls, chili, corn dogs, but he won't eat like real food. Baker Pierce said, my husband asked me to marry him. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stick this one in the oven and get my other pan ready. I was expecting it to be really warm. We got the air conditioner. Okay. I'm going to get a wet towel. All right. Yeah, you want to use it? If you're cold, you can turn the air off. No, you're good. I was just expecting your house to be... Alright, I'm just taking a wet paper towel <coughs> wiping this. It's clean, but I always wipe them because they've been in my cabinet. Dust. That top one was covered when I pulled it out of the cabinet, so I know there was nothing on there. You don't want dust. Well, I don't want to eat dust. Why not? It's good for you. Let's grease that pan with some, with some margarine. And y'all, I'll cook these on 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. I want everything bubbly, the cheese melted inside of them. So, that generally takes about 20 to 25 minutes on 350. Uh, we're in Georgia. Yeah, we in the peach state. Will you give me my wraps? I like your wraps, okay? These? Well, too late. I've already done yours on the them. The flour? No. No, it's fine. Like uh, little bitty, uh... Thanks. You're going to uh, freeze the rest of it up for your uh, quesadillas that yeah. you make? That's what I figured you made a big pan for. Yeah. <laughs> Carol said you're making me hungry. Uh, ain't, 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 yeah, you like it. Regina, Regina said, Becky, I feel like I'm starving every time I watch you cook. Oh. Me too, Regina. I don't even like the job, but I drive my happy butt out for here. <laughs> yeah, Becky does work hard. Not just cooking, but everything else she does around here. Oh, um, Devin didn't want rice in his. Mom, I'm using your hair tie. Okay. My grand, I forgot my grandson doesn't want rice in his. How many of these you want out? Two. Oh, you're gonna be bothering me. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's the way you, uh. I wasn't expecting it, but I like it. Just lay them on top of it. You gave me some. I like, think we'll just lay them on the bag. You gave me something like that. Okay, I'm Aprons? Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hang it over here. Yes. Okay, Gabby Rose said she wants some aprons. Some aprons. She gave you some? Mm -hmm. Some of the small ones. They're like really small. 
But let me know when that's small on me. Man, that looks so good. Uh, oh, I ate a bloody sandwich for lunch. I said, Cindy yeah. just said, that's what we, I was supposed to read. Cindy said, I'm having a bloody sandwich and salad. That's what I had for lunch, a bloody sandwich. Hey, I love me some bologna. Me too. Fry that baby up. No, ooh, I like bologna with either lettuce and salt and lettuce or bologna with just mustard as the, uh, put that in the trash can. Yeah. How long will these cook? About 20 to 25 minutes. We just want the, um, the inside to get bubbling uh, bubbling hot so the cheese will melt. You could eat it just like this if you wanted to, probably. Yeah, everything's done right now. But we want all the cheese melted. I used to eat mine without the enchilada sauce. Well, not tonight. <laughs> no, I eat them with it. That's what I used to eat it without it. Like that. Mine never went in the oven is what I'm saying. Marie Addison said, Becky, I love you cooking your biscuits from scratch. Thank you. So does, honey. Yeah, I love it, dude. Me too. My grandson loves those biscuits. I've been getting one over on my family here lately, though, and doing some frozen biscuits. Yeah, we... Not Hunter, you No, Hunter won't eat the frozen biscuits. Well, we just make what we're going to eat that morning. Okay, give me... I'll do one more. I'm not saying you got room for one more. Wait. Maybe one more. Let me shove some toothpicks in it, don't you? One tore. I don't know what happened. It'd be alright. You eat them? What? Enjoy. Yeah. I said that. You know what I was just saying? That ain't true. Man, that rice looks good. Do what? That rice looks good. Yeah, she put taco meat in it. Taco seasoning. Yeah, I was watching the live when she said that. I was like, mm, but that's good. We have people in the room. I had to look at this phone. My phone ain't showing. Alright, I got this pan. Can make you see that pan? Yeah, you can see what she's doing. I got it stood. You might have to open that other can. I didn't. I got it open. I didn't think you'd need it. Virginia, that's what we use the grands. The grands what? Frozen biscuits. Oh, yeah. My favorite are the, they're not frozen, they're in the refrigerator, they're called flaky layers. It's something quick, like mornings, baking, don't feel like making breakfast. Like I made breakfast this morning. You can throw the biscuits in the I oven. I can throw the biscuits in the oven and make some scrambled eggs, some sausage, bacon, whatever. And oh, we're not wasting any of this leftover rice either. I was about to say, I it I just spill in the cracks really good. That'd be alright. I wouldn't have wasted it either. Somebody go eat that. Yeah, that one ain't wasting it. Food costs too much. Now the chicken is not going to go on here because She'll freeze all up. of this is getting frozen up in like two mm -hmm. serving two serving um, packages so that I can just defrost it and make um quesadillas whenever we want them. Yeah, like late afternoon, she'll say, y'all want a quesadilla? We're like, heck yeah, we want a quesadilla. And she'll come in and lay a pack out, throw it, and no, microwave. No, split it, throw it in the microwave for two minutes, and it's ready for me to make a quesadilla. Okay. We could be eating in like 10, in 10 minutes we're eating. Was that a preheated oven that what? The oven should be preheated to 350 and you're going to leave it for about 20 
to 25 minutes. You scrape everything into here. Um, I didn't have my oven preheated because I took that one pan of enchiladas off the table and just set them in the oven. To get it out of your way. To get it out of my way while I did the second pan. All right, all right. I'll just shake it Okay, up. guys. I'm going to hop off. I'll do a reel and show you all these enchiladas when they're done. They are so good. They're good. And it's easy. Boil your chicken, shred it up, put your fajita sauce in it. Do you some instant rice and throw you a pack of taco sauce in it. And then you just put them together, pour your red sauce, red sauce over them. And it's good. My, I, like I said, my family loves it and they are filling. They will fill you up. Alan and I can usually only eat one. I make us two each. We can eat two, but we'd be just too full. We wouldn't be able to move if we ate two. We, we usually eat one, I'll make us two, and we'll put the leftovers in the fridge, and we have one for the next day for lunch. But you're going to need some red sauce the next day for it, red enchilada sauce, yeah, they're, they're, because they kind of get dried out. Overnight. Okay, I'm going to go wash my dishes. We'll see you guys later, and I'll do a reel. Bye, y'all. What are you having for a camera? I know she put it.